Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. People, in case you're wondering why I've sounded a little groggy, uh, I caught a little sickness, so I'm a little groggy in this review. Sorry about that. But today we'll be reviewing a Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Log Haul from Devastator. This is the only one I know his name. The other members of the Constructicons are Devastator in the Revenge of the Fallen universe. Very hard to comprehend. But he rolls very well because this is a Legends toy. They have to make it roll. Why not? Dare I say why not? Let's get down to some epic comparison. Got a bit of comparisons here. Here he is next to Revenge of the Fallen Ejector. Transformers Michael Bay movie brawl. He was in Revenge of the Fallen too. Why not? Revenge of the Fallen Robot Heroes Ravage. Dead End. Another Revenge of the Fallen character. I didn't get a screen time. Barricade. Why not? Revenge of the Fallen Hellstorm. Favorite Revenge of the Fallen figure. Megatron. Why not? Leader Megatron. And now we've done all the vehicle mode comparisons. We're going to get down to Transformation. Free up these legs. He's a little broken right here. As you see, he's loosey-goosey because he's broken. But other than that, he's mostly intact. Split his arms. And pull him out to the side. Rotate him around. Yeah, his feet are really stuck like that. So there's no way I can show it off because he's broken a little bit. As you can see right there. He broke at the peg. Otherwise, this is his robot mode. It looks pretty good. Not movie accurate 100%, but still pretty good. And now for some robot mode comparisons. Studio series, Revenge of the Fallen. Sound, sound wave. Because he's sound wave. And yet again with Ravage. And we're going to transform the others and compare them to this figure. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Got the arms ready to go. Okay. Dead End may be a remold of another figure for Revenge of the Fallen, but he's still one of my favorite Decepticons from the Revenge of the Fallen toy line. And not a bad repaint, if I do say so myself. Next, next to Michael Bay, Movie Brawl. I'm going to transform him off camera, because I've got that transformation memorized here. And man, is Bra Brawl is a pretty good figure. One of my personal favorites of the movie verse. So I'm going to have to tap him in. I've done this figure so many times. I've loved this figure from the moment I got him from the uh, North for Sales flea market. If you're not here in Pennsylvania, you're watching this, you're like, If you're here in Pennsylvania, then definitely check out the flea markets. You'll find some good deals on some epic toys from them. I got the parts I needed to complete this guy from eBay. eBay is one of my main considered sponsors of this channel. Because 
I've sponsored eBay on my channel. The good place to get parts to complete some epic Transformers toys. For half the price you'd pay on retail. And that's how I complete a lot of incomplete toys. When I want to complete a toy and review it, I head to the eBay store. So yeah. But yeah, that was Brawl next to Movie Long Haul. We're going to transform Hellstorm. We'll do a group shot with Hellstorm. And then we'll do a count on how many Revenge of the Fallen Transformers I own this year. And as you know, I love the Revenge of the Fallen movie. I thought some of the designs for some of the epic Decepticons were pretty hardcore. As the saying goes. I wish they'd do a new version of Hellstorm. Because I think they could have easily made a new version of him. But still, Hellstorm is probably another one of my personal favorites next to Soundwave. And now, show off another bot in this scale with Legends, Revenge of the Fallen, Long Haul with Ejector. I like Ejector from the moment I got him from from the uh, Monroeville Exchange, another toy store I hit up for Epic Toys. If you want to pick up some Epic Toys, hit up flea markets and toy collector stores. You never know on the kind of deals you'll find of these figures for half the price you'd pay online. Sure, on my copy of Ejector, he's pretty loose in the arms. The arms pop out. But otherwise, a good-looking figure. The one I paid for him for, I think, three bucks. Which is not pretty bad for a figure of this scale and price range. Especially. Always look for the best deals. For sure. So here is my first Revenge of the Fallen Decepticon from the Monroeville Exchange. And he just fell over. Hellstorm, I mean, Ejector, how could you knock down your Decepticon brethren? I'm mean. I'm big, bad, and mean. <laughs> yeah, you are. Come on, work with me here. Come on, Elstorm, work with me. He's a bit of a pain to get standed up, but once I get him standed up, we'll compare him next to uh, Long Haul. And they are in the exact same size scale, which is not bad being he's technically a Legends class as well, or a Scout class, if you want to be specific. But the last comparison we're going to do before we end this video and count how many Revenge of the Fallen Decepticons I own this year will be coming to a climax close for t for this week. And then next week we're doing regular figures and we're heading to Ollie's. Ollie's. Good stuff cheap. <laughs> Sorry. Ugh, bit of a nicky throat acted up. My throat's acted up quite a bit, so sorry about any coughing you may hear. Huh. But here is the Energonic Niter Megatron. Better than the original Revenge of the Fallen Megatron figure. I just love this more than that figure, and I'll never pick that up. The original tank mode for the Revenge of the Fallen figure had so many nitpicks. But this is the better incarnation of that figure. And I just love it that much. But now we're going to count how many Decepticons we own from the Michael Bay Revenge of the Fallen movie from 2009. These figures 
are 11 years old this year. So we own one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these epic Revenge of the Fallen Decepticons. And since I liked Long Haul so much, I might pick up a whole set and replace this guy with a non-broken one. But for now, I'll hold on to him. Why not? And then when I get a whole set, we'll do an epic Revenge of the Fallen Devastator review. But I can show you what the limb mode is like before I end this video. It goes something like this. Ow. His broken leg popped loose, so... I can't show it off to you. Just a bit more of a pain than I'd like. But yeah... Here is his leg mode. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Otherwise, a good-looking figure. The one I paid about 10 bucks for this figure. So, yeah. So, this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out. Oh, wait. I forgot about one Decepticon before we move on. Because this is based on the Michael Bay Barricade. <laughs> oh, I get forgetful sometimes. But here we have... Legends, Bubbly Movie, Barricade, next to Long Haul. And we own... About... 10, yeah, about 9 of these figures, so yeah, I love these toys so much, and these are going to be part of my collection, that's Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.